Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you guys how to control a circuit using Fortis and MBLAB. Okay, what circuit we're gonna do today is when you press the first button, the odd number of the ID will add up. When you press the second button, the odd number of the ID will add up. Okay. Okay, first. Uh, for this, we'll be using PIC 18 F4450. 450. We'll be using 8ID. Okay, now we also need register, 8, 8 register for 8 LED, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, now 2 button. Two button, two push button. First, second one. Okay. Wait, now we connect all the components together. For the button also, I need to pop B. Okay, for the button and the ID, we're going to, to ground. Okay, for these two register, we are connect it to power source. Okay, now we uh, will change the value of this register. Thank you to be uh, I put smaller, let's say 330. Channel 30 for all the register.
Okay, now we're done with the circuit. Now let's start our code coding. We will use MBLAB. Okay, first, let's save the file first. Save as. Design to copy dot ASM. Save. I go to project. Project wizard. Click next. 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 Browse. Order me. Save. Next. Save this one. Next. Finish. Okay, now we double click this one. Okay, now we can start with our coding. Okay, first, of course, start with the program template. Okay, for this circuit, port B is the input and port B is the output. So we need to stay inside this code. Uh, clear F is for output. Clear F trace D and set F is for input. Trace B. Okay, now we need to clear both of the port B and port D to make sure that there is no other ready inside it. Okay. For the first one, I'm going to press the first switch. Port B, 0, A. Okay, for this one, uh, is active low. So meaning that when the weather is one, the light ID will not light up. So skip set mean when it's one, it will not light up. So we need to leave a line and then KF hot B A. Okay, when it's zero, it will light up. So we need to branch it to cause uh, the first switch when you press. Even LED right now, so I put this even LED. Okay, so what is even LED? You need to define it. Even LED. Move LW zero zero one. Uh, A A. Point D. And then this one runs back. To check, of course, this one so back to check. Okay, now the second switch, second switch, the second switch will be port B1. A. Second switch will be the odd LED, odd LED. Port B A. Sorry, Oh, sorry. This one will goes to second switch. Okay. Port R D. to a second switch okay now and okay let's see if our program is correct
Okay, build succeeded. Okay, sorry, there is a mistake. This one. Okay, you don't need to branch back to check. You don't need branch back after the second switch. Okay, do it again. Okay, build succeeded. Now, we need to configure. Configure bit. Uncheck this one. Okay. Mm, okay, there is four things we need to do. The first one will be this one oscillator. We choose the second one HS oscillator, and then this watchdog timer we disable it. Power pot B AD. We change it to digital, and the last one will be single supply. We disable it. Okay, now we need to export this one. Later we will put it inside uh, the this PC. You can see program file. Okay, go back to yeah save the file. Choose this one dot hex open. And for this one, you can see we change it to twenty megahertz. Okay, and we play. Okay, let's test our program. It's working. Okay. okay, nice. Okay, when I push the first button, the event ID will light up. When I push the second button, the odd number of the ID will light up. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's all for today.